Okay, so let's quickly go over the math and science activity for 12.6. It looks a little bit different for you guys because you're doing it as a, uh, as a Google form. Uh, so you're going to have some multiple choice options just to make it a little bit easier for you. But all of the questions and the material are the same. So first thing is make sure you, you notice what information they've given you. This is the important stuff right here, right? Now, I had us do this because it kind of relates to a lot of what we were doing in science when we were in our, uh, in our physics unit. So it says, did you know when a moving object collides with a stationary object, the moving object experiences a force for a given amount of time? So that's the force, right? The amount of force that an object experiences during a collision is impacted by the amount of time. So they're talking about things like acceleration, right? Uh, by the amount of time the collision takes place. Because of this, airbags are used. And that helps because we're talking about things like inertia, right? Uh, objects in motion will stay in motion unless acted upon by an outside force. When that, that the car hits something like a wall or another uh, object, a stationary or not moving object, uh, even what's inside the car will continue moving. So the airbags actually stop the, the people, the other you know objects in the car from moving which is a good thing. So you don't fly out of, uh, out of the windshield or anything like that. Okay. So all vehicles in the United States must undergo a crash test. Researchers collect data from the crash test dummies at the time of collision. One technical measurement is the neck injury criterion. That's N I J. That's what you see right here. N I J the neck injury criterion measures the possibility of a neck injury and is a numerical value between zero which means no risk of neck injury, and one, which is a high possibility of neck injury. And the table shows the various vehicles tested. Now, if it helps you to, to, to look at this, let's draw it out. It's not a very straight line, I know, but let's draw it out. So let's say that this was where 0.5 was. Okay, well, just, and this would be zero on this side, right? And this would be one, 1 1.0. Now, looking at this, you can see there's nothing past that 0.5, okay? So this is kind of important because we have too much of a, if we wanted to draw this out, there's, there's a, there's kind of too much space right here, right? We can change this. We can just focus on up until the 0.5 part, right? And then, you know, obviously that anything closer to 0.5 is going to be closer to one. So that will be the more dangerous vehicle. So it's zero and 0.5, which means one, two, three, and four. Okay. Now taking a look here, you can plot these out. Here's a one. There's the two. Uh, we're going to estimate that that point two, two is going to be somewhere just past the two, right? We'll say point two, two, right about there. Point one, six, because 16 over hundred is point one, six. That's going to be just past. Let's say, well, if we, there, here's a half mark between one and two, right? Well, 0.16 is going to be just a little past that. So we're going to say 0.16 is going to be somewhere just about right here. There's 0.22 over here, right? Uh, 0.19, now you're even closer to the two. We're going to put that right next to the two, 0.19. And then you've got 0.28, that's even closer to the three. So that's going to be somewhere we're going to estimate right about here. 0.28, and of course, the 2, 0.2, that's right here, 0 0.2, 0 0.2, be right there. So looking at these, you can easily see which one is closer to the 0.5 mark. Now I'm going to say that most of these cars are actually uh, pretty safe, since none of them have even hit that at the 0.5, which means they're not really anywhere close, one, close to the 1.0, so that's a uh, that's kind of a good thing, right? Okay, but that's just to sort of visualize it, and you're going to need that a little bit later. Now, write the NIJ for vehicle E as a decimal. Now, you know that 2 over 10, we were doing this before, right, is the same as 20 over 100, which is the same as 0.2 or 0.2. Okay? So that makes sense, right? Now, Let's take a look at, and remember, it's 0 0.2 and not like 0 0.02 because we've got 20 over 100, not 2 over 100. If it was a 2 over 100, you'd be looking at something a lot smaller than this, right? Okay, compare the NIJ for vehicles A and C, A and C. Well, what's A? A is 
two two, and C is 0.19. Well, 0.22 is the greater, correct? So you would say 0.22, which is A, is greater than 0.19, or A is greater than C. Okay, and you can see that just by looking at it right here on your scale that you drew on the number line. Okay, let's scroll down here and take a look at these last few. The NIJ for vehicle F, well, we want it. We still need to be able to see that, so let's pull that down just a little bit. Okay, the NIJ for vehicle F is equal to the sum of the NIJ for vehicles B and E. Now, sum means addition, right? And if you notice, there is no vehicle F up there. So at this point, we don't even know what F is. F equals question mark, right? So we need to figure out what the sum is of B plus E. That's what we're looking at, B plus E. So right now we've got B equals, B equals 16 over 100, correct? And E equals, now we've already addressed this, we've already switched it so that it wouldn't be 2 over 10, but 20 over 100. Now, if you're just going to add those two, you're going to end up with, what are we going to end up with here? We're going to end up with 36 over 100. Okay, so that means that you're going to end up with either, you can either say the sum of F equals 36 over 100, or F equals 0.36 or 0 0.36. Now, obviously, F, that would mean that uh, if F was on here, if we were to look at F, and here's our 3, we've got, uh, here's that midpoint of the 3, that'd be 0 0.35. We're going to say 0 0.36 is somewhere right about here. means uh, F is, is clearly a less safe car than uh, than some of the other ones, right? Okay. Now, write the NIJJ, N, excuse me, NIJ for vehicle C as a fraction. Right now we have C equals 0.19. Well, the easiest way to do this would be to say 19 over 100. Okay? So, fairly simple. Now, the extension, which vehicle from the table has the lowest NIJ? Explain. Now, I believe I had you guys do this slightly differently, uh, but uh, I think I just had you choose the uh, the number of which one has the lowest NIJ. But looking up there, you can see that, and, and looking at our, 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 our um, number line right here, you can see which one ended up the lowest, which was B. Okay. Now, if you still have any questions on this, just let me know. But uh, I think once you see it worked out and once we've gone through this a little bit, it will make a little more sense. We'll do a little more practice on it, okay? All right.